The coming 5G networks will bring billions of new devices online, changing the way we work and live. It brings lightning speed to support advanced technologies and promises millions of new jobs. China intends to win the 5G race. The Made in China 2025 plan presented at the 19th Party Congress last year clearly states the end goal is not just to achieve technology leadership, but to eventually govern it. We also have a very serious competitor who is pressing ahead in this direction in ways that the U.S. is bound to respond to. The issue of 5G technology plays into the larger picture of the U.S.'s national security, American economic security, and also to our stance of alliances around the world. To date, at least 61 countries have an agreement or have announced testing of gear made by Chinese IT giant Huawei. Ten of them, including Britain, Portugal, Italy, Mexico, and the Philippines, have announced deals to start using it in their 5G networks. The growing number of countries opting for Huawei is tied to China's comprehensive bargain deals, say industry leaders. The Chinese government, to make a long story short, is prepared to subsidize the cost of equipment to an unprecedented degree. It's a multi-sectoral, cross-sectoral approach with energy companies and the web scale companies. And the push is, look at all of the economies of scale, look at all the advantages, look at the cheap equipment that we can provide. And then there's also diplomatic pressure. There's investment in the civil infrastructure of countries that are struggling financially. China's advance is raising Washington's concerns about the use of Huawei equipment in countries that host U.S. military bases such as Germany, Italy and Japan. Huawei is known to have ties to China's military and intelligence agencies. Our armed services who will look forward to uh, being able to use 5G networks in Asia, in Europe, in the Middle East, uh, to know that, that uh, they'll be sharing that information across those 5G networks uh, that are wired by Chinese companies, specifically by Huawei, is not going to make them feel very comfortable. But veteran policy advisor Carl Rove says China is not infallible. They got a reputation for shoddy equipment and uh, shoddy deployment. The debt dependency instances in Africa and Asia are causing some people to have doubts about whether or not they want to be further dependent upon the Chinese. The third thing is the Chinese, even for a thing like this, don't have enough money. The U.S. and Chinese leaders discussed the issue on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Yela De Franceschi, VOA News, Washington.